So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about training to build muscle. And I wanna share with you three non-negotiable elements that you must include in your plan in order to maximize your results. These are the things that matter the most. I still see a lot of people out there promoting training each body part once per week, so-called bro splits as the most optimal way to train, which we know is not true and it's not gonna be optimal for most people, but there's still information like that out there. If you follow that information, you're gonna slow down your progress and you're leaving gains on the table. I'm here to share with you what works. This is not gonna be any kind of quick fix or magic solution. It's gonna take time. I'm gonna lay it out simple, but that doesn't mean that's gonna be easy. So you have to apply yourself, take this advice, run with it, give yourself time and put in effort in order to see results. So now, without any further ado, let's talk about building more muscle. So non-negotiable element number one, you must be training with an adequate amount of volume, intensity, and frequency. In practice, what this means is that each body part should be trained with enough hard quality sets per week and that each body part should be trained multiple times per week. And we know based on scientific literature, that's gonna be two to three times per week, not just once, like the classic bro split, which you might be following right now, where you might have Monday chest day, then a back day, then a leg day, and you're really training it only once per week. Now, the issue with that is, let's say you have 12 sets of chest per week, and you're gonna do all those 12 sets on Monday. Well, the first six sets are gonna be great because you're less tired, you're focused, you just showed up, you're fresh, all good. But then the closer you get to that 12 sets, the, the amount of quality work that you can do degrades. You're starting to hit a point of diminishing returns, you're less focused. It just starts getting to that junk volume territory. You're just going through the motions. And that quality of volume would have been much better if you've done those sets on another day. And this is again why the bro split is not ideal and if you're following it right now, move away from it, go into a more intelligent program design, you will see more progress. Now when I say hard quality sets, that means that those sets are done in close proximity to failure and they're also done with proper technique and proper control of the weight. I see a lot of people show up in the gym and they don't bring that intensity to the workout. So for example, if you're a beginner and intermediate lifter, you should be training each body part somewhere between 10 and 15 sets per week. And if you're doing those sets, so let's say you're doing a dumbbell bench press, all those sets should be close to failure. So let's say you take a weight that you normally do for 10, you shouldn't be able to do more than 13 reps with that. But I still see a lot of people I've tested this a couple of times, I just tell them, hey, don't count the reps. Just do as many as you possibly can and use the way that you would normally do for 10. And just keep going. They actually ask you, can I stop? And can I keep going? No, just keep going, keep going. They actually end up doing 20 to 25 reps with that same weight, which means that that weight wasn't stimulating any growth. That weight wasn't heavy enough. And I would challenge you, try a couple of AMRAP sets. Take a weight that you normally do for 10 or 12 and just don't limit yourself. See how far you can take it. Maybe you've never really pushed your limits and see how far you can go. Obviously be mindful of, of your technique and do it with good range of motion and proper control. But sometimes, you know, we kind of forget how far we can go. So this is, again, hard sets. We're talking 10 or 15 hard sets per week, not easy sets, not the type of set where you can take a selfie after the set and look pretty on that selfie. No, so you gotta be challenging yourself in order to break that comfort zone, get your body out of that homeostasis, really stimulate that growth. And this is how the training is gonna be efficient. So it's not just about frequency, but it's also about hitting that volume and that intensity properly to really see that muscle grow. And by the way, if you're enjoying this so far, it would mean a lot to me if you go below this video right now, smash that like button as hard as you can. Again, means a ton, helps with the algorithm as well. And now moving on to the second element that you have to have in your plan, and that is progressive overload. And you probably heard about progressive overload. Most people, the way they think about progressive overload is adding weight. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's only weight. It can be extra reps, it can be just training in a way that the existing weight feels easier over time, meaning again, you're getting stronger in some way, you're able to do more. And one thing with progressive overload that most people don't understand is that it's not gonna be linear forever. You can't forever linearly just keep adding weight. At some point, it becomes like a chess game. You have to plan for progress, so you have to fight for that progress. Maybe you're gonna increase weight every couple of weeks. Maybe you're gonna increase weight every two months if you're an advanced lifter, maybe even six months. The best thing that you can do if you're a beginner or intermediate lifter, have a training log and really try to beat the logbook in some way. If you look at your previous week and you've done three sets of 15 in the leg curl and maybe you've done that with a certain weight, try to beat it this week. Try to go into the gym, add a little bit more weight, see how many reps can you get. Try to beat the logbook. 
this type of mentality keeps you focused during those training sessions. You know what you're doing. There's so many apps. You can do the old school method of simply writing down whatever sets and reps and weight that you've done just to make sure you have some focus. There's some kind of progression in there. Without progression, you're gonna look the same. Your body has zero reason to grow if there is no progressive overload component in your program. Now, the third non-negotiable element when it comes to maximizing your muscle growth is consistency at a high level. And this doesn't just apply to training. This means training, nutrition, and recovery, dialing them in and then being consistently dialed in as much as possible. A lot of people will do okay one session out of the week, two sessions out of the week. They're gonna show up focused with good intent and do a good job. But then the other half of the training sessions for that week will be half-assed. They're gonna show up there. They're not gonna pay attention to what they need to do in the gym, what weight they need to pick. The form is gonna be off. They're gonna be cheating on the range of motion. They're not gonna be focused. They're gonna be distracted between the sets. They're simply not giving their best for that training session. And if that's half of your training sessions throughout the week, what can you expect if you're not bringing that intensity to the workout? And I've seen many, and I go in a lot of gyms, I've been into more than 100 gyms around the world, and most people are training like this. Because naturally, we as humans, we fall into our habits. You show up, you kind of go through the same motions, and then you expect growth, and it's not gonna happen. And naturally, we're also lazy. So whenever your body can cheat a little bit, it will if you let it. If you're not focused, if you're not showing up with intent to do the best job you can, you're probably not gonna do the best job. And then even if you do that, but then in the nutrition side of things, you're kind of okay four days out of the week, but then the other three days, you're not eating your protein, you're kind of slacking on the calories, especially hard gainers. You get full for the first three, four days of the week, and then you eat 1,500 calories for the rest of the week, and then you stay a hard gainer. You don't gain. Because how are you gonna gain if you're only consistent half the time. The same as recovery. You sleep all three, four days out of the week, but then there's those days when you sleep five hours or maybe six hours, then you're just consistently fatigued and under-recovered. So it's not just about doing it once okay. It's not just about getting the information. It's about consistently applying the information at the highest level possible. And I don't mean that you have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I show up in the session is not ideal. It's normal, but you have to try to do your absolute best. As an intermediate and advanced lifter, you're really not having a lot of room for error. As a novice, you can do a lot of things wrong and grow. That's okay, that's normal when you're going through the new begins phase, but once that new begins phase is over, you're really walking a tightrope. A couple of mistakes here or there, lack of consistency, there's no growth. And you might be thinking you're putting in the effort, because you're putting in the time, but time doesn't mean that it's done with quality. So quality, effort, consistent effort over time really matters when you're talking about gaining muscle because we're talking months. We're not just talking weeks. Fat loss, yeah, we can talk about you know eight weeks, 12 weeks, you know, do a mini cuts or whatever. But when you're talking about gaining muscle, momentum across multiple months to really set yourself up for success, to gain the most muscle you can. And not just months. I mean, if you're really looking at maximizing your genetic potential, we're talking years. So there's no quick fix. It's really about creating this as a lifestyle to enable the growth to happen, to really be in control as many variables as you can and do a good job at looking at the data, iterating from there, personalizing to yourself, seeing what works, what doesn't, and really being committed here for the long haul. That's how you're gonna see the most gains. That's what consistency truly means. And that's how you're gonna actually get your goal. Now, another thing that's gonna help you to get your goal is if you hit that subscribe button below and make sure to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well so you know when my next video comes out. Also, if you wanna work with me as your coach, I will leave a link in the description below where you can find out more details about that. I'm gonna leave a couple of videos here at the end about growing muscle as well, so check those videos out and I will see you in those next videos.